In order to think, you have to risk being offensive. Great words spoken by none other than Jordan Peterson. There are a lot of learning I took away from his podcast and his talks and how he handles adversity, which we can all learn from. And it wouldn't be wrong to make a statement that he is one of the most influential personality in today's time. So in this video, I'm going to share three major lessons I've learned from Jordan Peterson, which would help us to improve our ability to become emotionally strong and resilient. So the lesson number one is how to remain calm in challenging situation. We have all seen his debate on gender pay gap with Kathy Newman and how he remained unfazed by consistent attacks and how he manages his emotions effectively during that interview. It is unbelievable. And the way he articulate his thoughts without being affected by how somebody is attacking him and the challenges he has to face during those conversations is remarkable. I mean, look at the conversation we're having right now. You know, like you're certainly willing to risk offending me in the pursuit of truth. Why should you have the right to do that? It's been rather uncomfortable. And like you see from this clip that he remained calm whilst speaking what he needs to, whilst communicating what he needs to say about that, how uncomfortable he is because of this conversation and how Kathy Newman is taking risk of offending him. He communicates his thoughts in a great way, which makes her stump. She doesn't know how to respond to that. So that's the power of remaining calm in challenging, difficult situation. And I've learned that from him and I've applied that in my work environment, in situations where I had to deal with difficult people and it helped me immensely. I'm truly grateful to Jordan Peterson. So the lesson number two is being authentic regardless of the consequences. I admire so much that Jordan Peterson is willing to say what is true. He shares his knowledge. He provides evidence regardless of the hate, the attack, the negativity he has to face, which is true fundamentally. He does not fear speaking that and he remains authentic to what he believes. And that is extremely powerful to witness and to learn from. Because when we do face adversity, when we do face challenges, what really truly defines our character is how authentic, how true we are to say what we feel. And he does that all the time. As you say, some of them have enjoyed your work. And so no, I'm, not one of, I'm not one of you guys. I'm not with you guys. They haven't enjoyed my work. I've definitely read bits on the internet. Read more. You can see from this clip that how he communicate this so well. One of my values are to do the right thing regardless of the consequences, regardless of what others feel about me or believe about me. And I've always done that. And definitely Jordan Peterson has been great, great mentor and coach in terms of leading by that value because I've always believed that but it is challenging to be in that space where you are speaking your truth where you are being authentic but people may get offended by the truth they might find it difficult to digest but the reality is for me is to and for all of us it's so important to remain true to who we are. And if we can't even do that, if we can't be true to who we are, then what is the purpose of life? What is the purpose of being born on this planet? If we can't even say what we feel, if we can't even be authentic, and I truly admire that about him. Like he says, those who believe nothing will believe anything. And that's so true that it's so important to have your values and moving in life with that 
in your mind, in your heart, in your soul. So the third lesson is being an empathic leader. And he shows that beautifully in his talks where he is comfortable being vulnerable. He's comfortable showing his emotions. He's comfortable being empathic. And it's so powerful. Jordan Peterson has so much empathy in him and very much tuned into his emotional side and his passion to show his emotions on public platform is so heartwarming. Great leaders are comfortable showing empathy and vulnerability, and that's what makes them great leaders. You have no idea how many people that's killing. You have no idea. I see people everywhere, all over the world. They're so demoralized. In this clip, you can see how passionate he is about youth and protecting them from the insanity which is going around in the world currently and how he talks about it and his point of view and he he's truly does care that's why he's so passionate he truly does really want to help the society the communities the youth of today's that's why he speaks the way he speaks and what we can learn from this is be open, be transparent, be vulnerable. And there is a minor risk that people can misuse that information and they might take advantage of that thinking that this is your weakness. But in reality, the greater good is that you connect with more people. People feel more closer to you. There's more connection, this feeling of bond and this oneness, which is so important as a leader or as a human being to be in that space, to show your vulnerable side. So many people are scared to be vulnerable and Jordan Peterson leads by example by showing his vulnerable side, being a man, but being vulnerable. It's so amazing to see that and so inspiring to see that. And I believe that most of the youth should follow that from him for sure. So those were the, some of the lessons I've learned from Jordan Peterson, which helped my life immensely. If you care about becoming emotionally intelligent, becoming emotionally strong and resilient, then you should check this video out where I talk about ridiculously simple way to manage your emotions. So if you like this video, like this video and subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. And I shall see you in the next video.